All right then, so we can now sign into the application and we can log out of the application and we can track within the app whether a user is signed out or signed in. So now there's a few things I want to do with this knowledge. For a start, I want to protect certain routes or certain components or pages, if you like. For example, if a user comes to this website and they're not logged in, I don't want them to be able to see this dashboard with these projects. I don't want unlogged in users to see that. Only people who are authenticated and signed into the app. Likewise, if they try to view the details of a project and go to this URL up here, I don't want them to see this page either. And if they try to add a new project, I don't want them to see this page. I want all of these routes, these three things to be protected. And what I mean by protected is if they try to come to one of these routes and they're not logged in, then it's going to redirect you to the login page. So let's log out. If we try to go to the home page where we list these or try to go to the create project page or view one of these things, then instead of showing all of this content, it's going to redirect you to either the login or the sign up page, probably the login page. So what we're essentially doing is using route guards. That's what they're called, really. We're guarding the routes. So let's have a look at how we can do that. So let's start with the dashboard. So open up your components and go to dashboard and open that up. And remember, we can access the authentication status from state.firebase.auth. That will tell us whether a user is logged in or not logged in, because if we have access to the UID on that auth object, then they are logged in, right? So let's add that to our props inside map state to props. We'll say auth is going to be state.firebase.auth, right? So now we can grab that up here using destructuring. So we'll grab auth from this dot props now, which we can do. And then what we want to do is check if auth has a UID. And if it doesn't, then we're going to redirect the user to the login page. If it does have a UID, we'll skip that and we'll then return this JSX. But let's do that check. So if, and then it's exclamation mark auth dot UID. So what we're saying is if this is not with the exclamation mark existing, then we're going to redirect. So we'll return a redirect right here. Now we've not used a redirect before, but they're pretty simple to use. All we need to do is import it first of all up here. So import redirect and we import that from, oops, redirect from the React router DOM. So now we can redirect the user to another component. So let's use that redirect. And then two is going to be equal to forward slash and we'll redirect them to sign in. Okay? So sign in like so. OK, so let's try this out. If we're not logged in, then this is true. Then we're returning this. If we are logged in, then this is false. And then we'll just carry on with this return. Right. So let's save it and see if this works. And now if I go to the dashboard, then I can't actually get there. It won't let me. It redirects us to this page before we get a chance to see the dashboard, which is good. That's what I want. OK, but we can still go to forward slash create and we could still go to forward slash project forward slash whatever the ID is. So let's protect those as well. So first of all, in the projects and create project, let's do the same thing. Now, we don't have a map state to props here, so let's create that. So we'll say const map state to props which is a function, takes in the state, and then inside the function, we return that object. And on that object, we want to attach auth to the props. And that is going to be state.firebase.auth. And remember, we have to pass this in to the connect higher order component down here. So let's replace null with that, save it, and then go up here. And then what we'll do inside the render method is we'll use destructuring to get the auth property from the props and this time it's equal to this dot props. OK, so now we've got that and the same again. We just want to redirect the user if this thing doesn't exist. OK, so let's grab that the same check and place it underneath this. And let's see if this works now, because if we do have that, then it will ignore this and it will just return the actual page content. So let's see if this works in a browser. OK, we get an error. Redirect is not defined, and that's because we've not imported it yet. So let's import redirect. And that's going to be from 
React Router DOM. Okay, so save that and view it in the browser now. And now if we try to go to forward slash create, it redirects us to sign in. Let's try that one more time, forward slash create, and we don't get there, it shows us sign in instead. Okay, so we want to protect as well the project details. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna start copying and pasting these little lines. First of all, the redirect, we need that. So project details, let's import the redirect. Then I'm gonna copy this chunk right here. So we're destructuring, then doing the check and redirecting. So let's paste that right here, like so. And in fact, we can just place auth here, where we're destructuring, and place that above the other if check. Okay, so that's done. Now we need to map that to the props. So let's just say down here that auth is gonna be equal to state.firebase.auth inside map state to props. Okay, so let's see if that works now. So if we try to go to project, and let's just do any ID, one, two, three, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what it is, it's gonna redirect us to the sign-in page because we're not logged in. Okay, let's try logging in and seeing if these things work. So test at the net ninja.co.uk and then it's test one two three four login okay so even though we've not redirected anywhere we're now logged in because we can see these links we'll sort this redirect later we should go to the home page so anyway let's go to the home page now and now we can see it it's not redirecting us because we're now logged in new project same thing and if we go to the details of a project the same thing so that is awesome now then there's a couple more things I'd like to do. If we're logged in, then ideally, I don't want a user to be able to get to the sign-in page. That makes no sense. And likewise, I don't want them to get to the sign-up page because they're already logged in. So we could always put some route guards on here that check for the opposite. If they are logged in, then we redirect them. So let's do that. Okay, so what we'll do is go to sign-in because we want to redirect them from here if they're logged in. Okay, so let's first of all grab this thing, the redirect, and paste that here. Then I want to grab the auth from this.props, and I also want to do the little check and redirect down here, so let's grab that from here, copy and paste. Now we need to change this we want to redirect them if there is a UID property. So we take away that exclamation mark there. All right then, so now we just need to attach the auth to the props. So let's add that down there. Auth is, oops, state.firebase.auth. Okay, so that should work now. Let's try going to sign in, or sign up rather, or what was it, sign in. And now we can't get there, it's not doing anything though, it's not redirecting us anywhere. So let's go to here, and that's because it's trying to redirect a sign in. We need to change this to just forward slash the dashboard. So let's try that again. If we try to go to sign in, then it redirects us to the dashboard. Try it once more. Okay, cool. So lastly, the same thing for the sign up page. Let's go over here and up here. We need to first of all import the redirect. So we'll copy that and go to here and paste it in. Then we need to destructure here. So let's go over here and copy these two lines again from the sign in. It's going to be exactly the same. So let's paste that here. We don't want the auth error just yet. Okay. And then finally, we need to attach these down here to the props. So let us just make those const map state to props. And that's equal to a function which takes in the state and inside the function, we return an object. I realize I'm going quite quick here, but it's quite a long video and I have to. We're just repeating the same old thing over and over and you should really have the hang of this by now. So we want to attach the auth, which is on the Firebase, or rather state.firebase.auth. So then we need to connect down here like so and pass in sign up like that and then we pass in map state to props into connect and then up here we have to import connect so import connect from react hyphen redux like so so let's save this now and see if it works let's try to log in or sign in so sign in that redirects us to the home page cool and now sign up now that redirects us to the home page but if we log out 
then we can go to these pages. All right. So there we go, my friends. That is RouteGuards. That's how we can use the current authentication status to redirect a user to pages when you don't want them to see other pages. That's how we protect our content.